Okay guys, that's about the P2P Binance trading in this video. If you want to buy P2P on Binance, technically you know this is no longer possible as in Nigeria. And this is due to the uh, federal government CBN policies where all network providers in Nigeria, especially MTN, block access to most of this cryptocurrencies website. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to buy P2P trading Binance at a very low price. So since the p2p is no longer included on binance it has become something of difficulties for nigerians to be able to buy uxdt or other cryptocurrencies like busd usdt bnb ethereum and even bitcoin so you can no longer buy all these cryptocurrencies in nigeria because the government policies are now against it but there is a way to maneuver your way to buy uxdt in Nigeria or other cryptocurrencies including Bitcoin in Nigeria. There are a lot of YouTube channels discussing how to actually buy cryptocurrencies in Nigeria. And there are a lot of WhatsApp channels and Telegram channels discussing how you can buy cryptocurrencies in Nigeria after the ban of P2P. And since if we can no longer use a credit card or debit card to buy cryptocurrencies in Nigeria back since maybe five or six years ago, then there is always the p2p to back up this process but now that the p2p is gone and you can no longer access binance outside the mobile application such as the binance.com website in nigeria or kucoin website in nigeria or OKS, then there is a maneuver or there is a way around these techniques that you can actually use to buy cryptocurrencies in nigeria so when you want to buy cryptocurrencies in Nigeria, you need to decipher the approach I am going to share with you in this video. Especially if you are into crypto trading where you need to buy USDT and convert it to Bitcoin or Ethereum or other cryptocurrencies as a Nigerian to start trading either future trading or buy and selling on crypto platforms. So, without wasting much of your time, I've already created my account on this particular platform and I'm going to share with you the step by steps on how I put this into practice. Now, here's the big game. You get to know that most of these particular cryptocurrencies website or website where you can easily trade cryptocurrency in Nigeria are no longer accessible on most Nigerian networks, especially if you're using MTN. But the application are still accessible. That shows you can still download this application on your Android, on your iPhone, or even on your Samsung device. So, Application like Binance still works on my Android phone. So this is what you're looking at. And this particular application is also working on my iPhone. The same thing happens to OKS and Kucoin. But if you check through OKS, you discover that there is no P2P Naira in it. So this makes trading very difficult. You can actually buy UXDT on this platform. So once Binance stopped working, some other platforms also stopped working, not only in Nigeria, in some other countries across the globe. Now, if you want to trade crypto in Nigeria and you're ready to buy your XTT or P2P Binance trading at a very low price, these are the steps that you need to take. So the first thing you want to do is you want to grab your Android phone just like this and then go to the Play Store. So while on the Play Store or Apple App Store, you want to search for application called KuCoin. So KuCoin is a crypto trading platform that still supports P2P for Nigerians for most of the African countries where P2P is no longer allowed. Now, what you just need to do is make sure you download and install the KuCoin application and the registration is quite simple. All you need to do is provide your email and then password. Once you provide your email and password, then you click on the verification link in your email. You'll be prompted, you'll be accepted into KuCoin. And once your account has been verified within this space of four or three minutes, three to four minutes, then you can start trading on this platform. So without wasting much of your time, go ahead to your Play Store or App Store on your iPhone download KuCoin Bitcoin crypto trading application and once that is done open it once you open it you need to sign up for a KuCoin account so all you need to provide is KuCoin email a unique password then provide your email a password to create a KuCoin account once you create a KuCoin account go to your email the email provided and confirm or verify your account and once that has been verified the next thing you just need to send it to your KuCoin application as you can see I've already signed to my KuCoin account and the next thing that will tell me is verification and this verification takes up to three to four steps. Takes about three to four minutes. Within this space of three to four minutes, you'll be able to verify 
your account. And what are the means of verification of people on this platform? There are three different means of verification you can use, and you can choose any of these to verify your account and coupon. So let's go ahead now and click on the verify account. This is after you signed into your coupon account. As you can see, please verify your account. My account is pending verification. So this is what you're going to see during the registration process. So just come here and click on please verify your account or if you don't want to click on that while on the KuCoin homepage all you just need to do is this is click on verify account the same process but different approach so once you click on the verify account you should see what you can do with the verified KuCoin account and what you can do with unverified KuCoin account so if you verify your KuCoin account you'll be able to trade P2P up to 500,000 US dollars and be able to withdraw up to 999,000 999 uxdt on kucoin both trading crypto or you or p2p crypto trading so click on get verified and once you hit the get verified button your location would be selected automatically that's your country of location will be chosen automatically and as you can see my location is nigeria and it has been selected automatically otherwise click on this country or region menu and you should see all other countries that can use KuCoin from the list. Make sure you select your country. And after that, choose the means of identification. So it could be international passport, it could be driver's license, and it could be your ID card. The ID card in this sense is I would recommend you use your NIN plastic ID card. So you can just go to the NIMSI application to print your NIN plastic card. And then choose the option to verify your KuCoin account to start P2P crypto trading on this platform. Otherwise, you can choose international passport or choose driver's license or choose the other card I suggested. Whichever one you choose, EA is going to work for you perfectly. Then, once you choose your means of identification, like this, what you want to click on Next. So once you type in Next, you'll be prompted to type in your personal information. This is the personal information on that card. It has to match the information on your means of identification. Otherwise, your KuCoin account will not be verified and you will not be able to trade P2P. So if you want to trade P2P on this platform, make sure you type in the exact name, the exact age on your means of identification. So type in your name, type in your last name, your first name, and then the hiding number. The plastic NIN card has an hiding number, which is the hiding card number and the plastic card. So just type this and then follow the prompt, fill in the information, provide your addresses, your phone number and other means of identification required by Pokemon. Once all these are provided, then you need to submit this application for verification. It takes about three to four minutes for KuCoin to verify your account if you submitted the right ID card for means of identification. And once your account has been verified, then your account on KuCoin, the ban your account on KuCoin will be lifted and be able to trade P2P or trade other cryptocurrencies on this platform. So if you're in Nigeria, this is one of the best way to start buying and selling P2P and also to trade cryptocurrencies in Nigeria without Binance P2P trading. So if you want to try how this, just go ahead now and check this. It is quite easy and anyone can do this in Nigeria. So guys, this is how to start trading cryptocurrencies once again in Nigeria without Binance. So the hand of Binance in Nigeria market in terms of P2P trading shouldn't hand your crypto trading career in Nigeria. So you can still buy UXDT from this platform on KuCoin, but this is what you just need to know. When you want to use KuCoin, you can only use KuCoin mobile application on your phone, such as Android or iPhone. If you try to follow this process on KuCoin website, you discover that this is not gonna work for you. And of course, your network provider will block your access to this particular website. So guys, if this is helpful so far, and you want more of this on auto trade cryptocurrencies in Nigeria and make money online in Nigeria, you want to smash the like of course, you want to subscribe to our YouTube channel so that at every point in time, when you drop a video just like this, you will receive our notifications and you will be able to take the step further.